live here at the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Thanks for watching. In today's video, I just want to show you how you can program your Outback power system Mate 3 or any electronics to troubleshoot um, your devices or how you want to troubleshoot how to go about troubleshooting your devices when you have to. So guys, this is the thing. So right now you can see about three lights on my um, system indicating uh, all sides of um, uh, uh, indication telling you what is going on. So what is going on right now at the JW Solar USA in Minnesota um, this is the inverter light. He's telling me everything the inverter is working, is inverting. It pulse once in a while. The second one is telling me battery status. The battery status um, to tell me um, the state of charge of my batteries. The third one here is the event. The event is telling me what is going on so what happened these batteries have been for five days without being charged and uh, my system can run more than that so being said that um minnesota here we are almost in the process of winter which is not even winter yet but it's kind of colder and um, we got some snow but the weather is kind of bad right now uh, it has been going for days without sun, and especially if you're not in the south, south and exposure, and um, I'm facing north, west, not east, sorry, and um, I can um, generate more power during the morning hours, almost coming to the afternoons, then. Um, I started losing power because the sun is going around the house. So, guys, this is what happened. I set up the batteries for a warning to tell me um, if I'm not around, I, hey, boss, there's such a so, so thing is going on. So I set the batteries to be, you don't go low like this, but say, hey, are your bat uh, some warning here? So you click on the warnings, it's gonna tell you your state of charge, low error. So I said that so that I can able to know um, if the batteries are low. The voltage is still high at 61.1, we dropping, but it has been five days without being charged, like I said. So what happened here, I said the, the threshold after, um, after 80%, your battery indicator will show up here saying battery status. That's um, 80%. So I set up the battery, the battery voltage at um, at uh, uh, 60, I think at 60, don't get at 60, give me a warning. So now it's getting close to 61.2 here. That light came on. And uh, it's telling me to be mindful, to be watchful, or whatever it is. Uh, your your um, investment is almost getting in trouble. So this is what happening. The system is running, and we are seeing seeing a sixty three percent state of charge right now. So because of these, I decided to make a video how you can troubleshoot your your systems on the outback power system troubleshooting. And the troubleshooting is we need charge. We need charge so bad. But what is going on outside, I might probably show you. So that, that there. Sorry, you seen on the screen. I mean, this is how bad it is. Okay? All cloudy nothing absolutely zap nothing so the inverter is still it's not giving a warning yet saying um the batteries are dead low 
because they can still go because they haven't reached the threshold where they're going to give you the warning thanks to outback power systems. Expensive machines, but they do the job. Just likewise, any other machine. So, guys, I decided to make a video to show you guys their loads right now running at the house. And um, we still not bringing nothing. The charge controller, we are seeing a high voltage. And um, here, oh, I just got like six watts about to come on. And look at that. The classic is just nothing going on resting because look at the voltage is high but it came able to trigger because that's how clouds and the clouds are really dark outside and i think it was raining all night so you can see that it's about just about to start but nothing so that's the thing again and we're running on high voltage guys this is the thing this is how you go about troubleshooting um, your thing, we have to talk to the power grid now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to borrow some power from the power grid. There you go, outback power. We're going to talk to the grid and say, hey, Mr. Grid, we need to buy some power right now. So this is going to be just like my generator, just like anybody else normally have a generator at their house. So this is the grid is my generator. So I'm gonna tap into the grid and say, hey, Mr. Grid, it's about time, I need some power. So it cost me about nine cents at winter time and eight cents at summertime. We still pay low on electricity here, some part of Minnesota. I don't know where you live, but uh, for us here, the electricity is still cheap compared to any other thing. So I can buy from the grid uh, for five hours at 1,700 uh, uh, 1, uh, uh, watt hours. I'm going to be pulling constantly maybe for four hours because right now if I look at the thing, it's going to tell us that we need about 146 amp hours to be replaced. Okay? So... This is the thing, and we have to put the 147 amp hours back to the to the to the batteries. But I'm not gonna charge the batteries all the way high. I'm just gonna leave in uh, tomorrow. I think it's gonna be sunny. Sun is gonna come out tomorrow. I don't know how soon it's gonna be up, but the thing is, we can able to go about um, um, replenish. So I'm gonna be tapping to the grid. Stay tuned and watch this and see how much kilowatts of power uh, we're gonna be taking live from the grid at a JW Solar USA. Stay tuned because I'm trying to get myself situated here. Subscribe, thumbs up, like the videos here. And um, if you get to take a look here, I'm still trying to finish up the Magna sign Magnum as I go um, for the transition for the summer because if you've seen the voltage that we bring in this is my system and I was working at Dave's for the summer because the high voltage will do us a lot of good on 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 a 24 volt so take a look we we're gonna connect to the grid now see it says AC input Take a look. So, there we go. We're ramping up now. There we go. 1800 watts. See that? Bringing 1700 watts, charging the batteries right now. So, we can bring them at the speed. See that? There's an X here on the battery. So, we ramping up the power so if you look at we start at a bulk charge so look at that this is what is going on right now we're just gonna bring the batteries a little bit up so we can finish up the day 
um, tomorrow. So this amber light is gonna, this red light is gonna go away. This amber light is gonna go away at 80%. This light goes away. It becomes green right away. So we have a charger here, and the AC, like AC is coming in. This is how you go about troubleshooting your system. So it's acting like a generator here. You see, 1.7 kilowatt. So if I look at it, it's bringing about 26.1 amps charging the batteries in a rapid. So this is the graph. Look where our batteries were. So it's going up 61.4. So pretty soon we're going to be doing really, really good. So 61, uh, 63 state of charge. So if you have a 63 or we were at 61, you see how fast they're charging? And divide that by eight because uh, it's a, a 16s. So you divide that by eight, we still up to about seven point something um, volt pen battery or pen cell. Okay. So this is all the uh, shunts, the the what the, the the thing, the actions. Or I hope you got this, and uh, this is all the on the shunt, the FNDC. Okay, so that's the battery. That's well, guys, <clears throat> the state of charge right there. I just decided to show you guys and see how the system is working. So, this is 1600, 1700. This is the grid. Okay, this is the grid, but this is what we buy in uh, 1620.